Hi students, let's look at this question here, which is on sketching the sine curve. See, see how we can do this proficiently. So the first thing, of course, to see this is actually from 0 to 60 degrees. So you're actually doing it in degrees, not in radians. Make sure you understand that. Now, the first step is obviously we need to decide the number of cycles here. So just have this, um, the steps of drawing uh, in the notes and we'll just see how, uh, you know, you can actually use these to... to uh, to, to proceed. So the first one, det uh, determine the number of cycles that you have. So I'm going to decide the period. Period is actually just 360 divided by 3. Okay, divided by 3, this is 120 degrees. Okay, so 360 divided by 3, which is 3. So number of, number of complete cycles is actually um, 360 divided by 120, which is actually three cycles so now once we decide the number of cycles we have we're going to draw the grid so very quickly we're going to draw the grid where uh draw the number of grids so we have we have actually three cycles so four times three we need 12 uh, 12 columns here so just bring out your uh ruler and grid right so just draw out uh, 12 cycle here so it's uh, uh one two three four very quickly one two three four and after which you have one two uh three and this is four okay there you go this is four so just make sure you have got your you know your draw, draw it to scale so it will be better if you draw it to scale uh, but I don't have a ruler now, so I'm just going to uh, estimate. So just roughly the same column size there. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, right? So this one, two. This is, let me just put this closer. Okay. Okay, this part here. Correct. Now once done, I know that this is a sine curve. Sine curve means we start from zero. So it goes up. So this part here, one quadrant, the other quadrant. Just remember, a quadrant to another. Just complete complete one quadrant to another. It, it will settle it itself nicely. Okay. Then this comes down. This is sketching. So we don't really need to like draw to, uh, draw, draw perfectly, but yeah, this is it. Just sketch. So you see that what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing to this quadrant and it will fit perfectly like that. Okay. So once done, there you go. I've got three period here. You see this is one cycle, two complete cycle and three. Three sine curve here. Um yeah. Then once uh once we are we are okay with this, uh the next step is actually marking down. Is it drawing the y axis? So once done, sketch the curve draw the y-axis <clears throat> we okay draw it out okay draw once drawn okay um then we can draw the period out so the period is 120 so this is one period is 120 it's 120 degrees then this will be uh, 240 degrees and then this will just be uh 360 degrees all right and 100, 120 divided by 4 will be 30 degrees. So this will be 30 here. So this will, every time you just add a 60, uh, 30 degrees. So, so this case here, what we get is actually uh, plus 30, 60, 90. Then you just add another 30. This is 150 degrees, 180. Just add 30 throughout. This one here will be 210 degrees, um, 270 degrees, 300 degrees, 210. Okay, there you go. Um, yep. So then the amplitude is actually the amplitude is five. So in other words, the max here is five. 
This one here is negative 5. Okay, then you just go here. Negative 5. It'll be like 5. There you go. Once done, just uh draw the x axis. It'll be fine. Okay, so that's how you draw the sine curve proficiently. If you have any questions or comments at all, please uh let me know and I will see you in the next question.